Hello and welcome back to Building Geek Cred. I'm John DeCook with the Werewolf and Borg and we are back to play the third and final round of the Deep Breath campaign for Zombicide Invader. With me again this evening is my brother James. Howdy. We're playing again this third and final portion of the scenario. This one is entitled M03 Air Central. The story reads like this. For some reason, the Xenos have built something on the core oxygen generator. Luckily for us, the machines still seem to be functional, but we need to destroy the mold covering them to get them running again. We'll have to be careful with the mold in this sector. It's highly toxic, and our oxygen reserves are running very low. So the objective this time is to destroy all the mold here in the center of the board covering the mold generator to get that generator back online. There are several special rules this time. Number one, for setup, we have randomly placed the green and purple objective among the four red objectives on the board, of course face down so we don't know where it is. There are two active mold tokens on top of each other on each of the indicated zones. That way when the top one gets damaged you flip it face down to show it's inactive, but you don't completely destroy the mold without following a two-step mold destroying method. For endgame, the usual endgame is suspended, where joining two spawn zones with mold no longer ends the mission because, as you can see during setup, they're already connected. Next is someone came before us and never left. Each objective taken gives five experience points a survivor who takes it. Taking a red objective also provides one of the remaining prototype weapons, but you do not get oxygen this time. Polluted mold. Whenever a survivor stands in a mold zone, whether it's active or not, during the end phase, you must either discard one of their oxygen tanks or a red objective that is still on the board. If you cannot do either of these, that survivor is eliminated. Now remember, the survivors will come back at the beginning of the next player phase, but they're eliminated at that point. Finally, we have the two-step mold destroying method. All mold must be destroyed to win the game. First step is to generate a Hellfire effect in the zone. Set the upper mold token on its inactive side. If for any reason the mold is set again on its active side, the process must start from the beginning. Second step. To strip out the destroyed mold, survivors must spend nine actions in the zone when there are no Xenos in it. You set a noise token in the zone for each action spent in this way. These specific noise tokens are not removed during the end phase, but are removed whenever a Xeno enters the zone. Once the nine actions are spent, remove both mold tokens from that zone, and mold cannot be created here anymore. So as a side note, we still are using these to count the remaining red objectives, oxygen tanks from previous. We're going to start the game with four of those between the two of us. So we have a little bit of a cushion. On top of that, we've retained our experience, our equipment from the previous session. We did not reshuffle the Xeno deck or the equipment deck. Final note here is between the six characters, we have two flamethrowers and three canisters. We need four Hellfire effects. We are going to have to search. So with that, we are ready to begin. I believe, James, you have the first player token, so first turn is yours. Okay, I think the first action we need to do is rearrange some weaponry here. Okay, so like you said, we had two flamethrowers. Correct. Correct. Cole has a flamethrower. Um, I think Magnus has actually, it. Magnus right? has it. And then Baraka has one canister. Um, Vivian has one canister. And I'm pretty sure that's, that's it. it. We have three canisters total. Okay. So I'll need to do a trade to get Cole to have the flamethrower. I'm going to have him retain it. Okay. Do we want to split um, canisters? Because I, what I can have is Vivian can actually take this from him. She can have the flamethrower. Uh, she's already got a canister. Take his other canister and swap hmm. a weapon. Vivian with a flamethrower. Where have we seen that before? Uh, it's pretty familiar. She, I think she has to strap another... Like a rocket propelled grenade launcher on there as well. Something like that. All right. So however you want to distribute yours, I'm going to give mine to Cole. And then we are going to need to find at least one more canister. Okay. Now our main objective here is to get rid of that mold, correct? Correct. And so again, it's 
Hellfire to make it inactive, and then nine actions between all the survivors standing in the zone to completely destroy the mold. If we can't get it all in one turn, they stay there. If any Xeno moves in, it wipes those. It doesn't reactivate the mold. But, for instance, a spoiler abomination walking through the zone would reactivate the mold. Okay. But once it's cleared, the spoiler doesn't drag any more in there. Okay, so Magnus is going to go first. And what he's going to do is actually trade. He'll do the trade, so that's one turn, correct? Correct. So he'll swap um, four and a two better, five on a five plus. So what she's going to do is give him the light machine gun, and she's going to keep the heavy shotgun and the flamethrower, plus she has the extra canister. Right, and I'd say be sure to check their backpacks too, just to see if there's anything else you want to trade while you're doing it, because you can trade as much as you want, of course. Well, we've got searchlight. So, so maybe Magnus, for instance, wants a sledgehammer in case he gets into hand-to-hand -hand combat, something like that. Yeah, the sledgehammer's always better. There's two cattle prods there, um, which I guess those are dual-willed too. If she needed them, she could pull them both out of her backpack. Uh, energy cell. That'll help if we find those other two prototype weapons. So we'll keep that right here. Uh, searchlight, draw two cards. So what should happen is um, she's going to go ahead and actually put that here so that she can use that. All right. And she's going to give him the sledgehammer, but she's going to keep the two cattle prods. So if she gets into trouble, she can at least dual wield. All right. Makes sense. <clears throat> All right. So that's one for Magnus. Mm -hmm. So as move one for Magnus. What he's going to do the next is he's going to go here. Is there a door? Yep, there's a door there, and he's going to search. All right. All right, so that search will be his third action. Right, remember, he has the drone. He could search it anywhere he wants. He doesn't have to move in there. You don't want to waste that action. That is true. Um, well, ultimately, we want to get over here, but Correct. this is a hallway. We've got to get into... Well, it says any building zone. Okay, so any zone. So he yep. technically could stay here and search. Correct. So instead of moving, his second turn will be to search, and unfortunately, uh, it's mold spawn one worker. All right, so here we go. And there we go. That's fun to begin with. So that's two actions. He's got two left. So he will go ahead and move here. One, two. All right. All right. Um, Vivian, she can search two. So what she's going to do is she's going to come into here. That's one move. She's going to search two. Right, can draw two cards. Correct. Can trace line of sight to dark zones too. Well, guess what? I'm gonna take the plenty of bullets. Makes sense. So I'm gonna get rid of the MREs. I'm gonna put plenty of bullets. So at least she's got something decent going on there. That was one move. She's gonna come here too. Do we want to flamethrow that right now? Try to we still we still have four more people to go, so let's look those one, two, three moves to get in there. We're gonna have a hard time burning nine actions if we've got to use three actions apiece just to get there. So I say hold on the flamethrower for the moment. Well, would it make more sense also if we want a flamethrower to come to this one? Will that kill the spawn zone? Does not kill the spawn okay, zone. So it doesn't matter they're gonna respawn. No, they're gonna respawn anyway. Okay. But I say that's the first one to take out. Okay. But again, we need to get everybody amassed on the edge. Then they can all move in for one action. Three people can use their three actions to get the nine. We've destroyed the mold. Okay, perfect. So then what we'll do is we'll have Magnus, I mean, uh, sorry, Jared. Mm -hmm. He can only search in security. So if he went there, it'd be one search two, he'd be three, four, which means he can't help there. So we're gonna skip the search on that. He's gonna move here. So if anybody moves in, he can at least shove them back. All right. So that'll be it for mine. Okay, first things first, Cole is going to activate. He's going to trade with Baraka. She's going to give him the suit of a blade of armor she's been carrying. In addition, she's going to give him the canister. He'll reorganize to put the flamethrower in active status. He will put the cattle prod away. He is going to give her a... Actually, you know, he's going to hang on to the sledgehammer just in case he needs that later. That's all the trading I want to do. So let's move Cole into the next room over, please. So he did one to trade. That's two. He will search for third. He gets a search light, which he will put into his backpack. And for his fourth, he's going to step out into the hallway with everybody else. All right, Mitsuki will step into the room. She's going to grab that objective. Perfect. 
Purple. All right. So the purple gives control of the gun. Correct. Yep, yes. that means she has control of the gun and the bot at this point. I do still think it's a little odd the gun's all the way down here. We'd have to actually lead the Xenos down there to use it. But for her next three actions, she's going to advance the bot up the hallway and then two, three, so he's looking in that door. Don't this forget to put, way. yep, put activation token on him, please. Mm -hmm. And then let's just move Braca over with everybody else. Yep, and that will be it for our turn. Okay. Xeno activation phase. Obviously, the two Xenos in the room are going straight there. You would think this guy's coming out here. Exactly. Now, this one we have a decision to make. It's obviously equidistant to get to the room with the most noise in it. Which way do we want him to go? I think it makes sense to come straight yep. forward. Fair enough. Okay. Remove that Probably activation. Oh, yeah. well, we've got a spawn, right? right? So, one, two, three spawn. Does that make sense? Yes. We'll start there. All right. Uh, that is, we're already in orange. Orange, yes, sir. Six tanks. Okay. That's fun. Yeah. All right. What's the next one? Is going to be... Oh, spoiler abomination. Awesome. That's exactly what we were hoping for. Where is that big guy? Right in front of you. Spoiler abomination on right. the board. And our last one is going to be mold spawn, one tank. Wow. How many more mold spawns are left in the deck? It's amazing. You'd think we'd have them all gone by now. Well, maybe we'll start with that one. Yeah, probably <laughs> is where we want to go. Yeah. Maybe we do want to pop over there and throw that one. Yeah, because that'll take a bunch out. Whoever does that is going to go, well, if Cole does it, he's well, going red. But Vivian has plenty. Yep, so Vivian should she be the one to go one. do that. All right, so let's remove the activation token from the robot, please. I'll take the first player token. Unfortunately... Yeah. I'm first this time, and you're not. So. I'm going to go with Baraka. She's going to chainsaw in her own zone. That's five dice. Hit that a five or better. And I see a five in there, so the worker in her zone drops. She's at 32. Take your point. Yep, did that. She is now going to use her assault prototype shotgun to shoot into the room. Okay. She's going to focus fire first because she's got a tank in there she's trying to take out. And that's a five and a three. There's two. Yep, so that drops the tank. Nice. And then she's going to take one more shot in there. Does not need to focus fire this time. That's a hit. I got a six and a four. Drops that other worker that's in there. So let's clear this guy off the board. Another plan. At the end of my turn, Jared will, Jared will be here. Everyone will move on. We shove everybody back in. Abomination will come in, then we flame through it. Okay, so do you want Cole to go ahead and flame through this one right away? I think it makes sense, right? Because it doesn't matter which way we, we do it. Correct. As long as Jared shoves them back in. All right, so Cole, and we're all going to end up in that room then, right? Yes, because we can have them come that way and we shove them all back into the room and then flank all right them. so cole is going to set hellfire in here which is going to make that go inactive for his second action he will step into the room and then he's going to use two actions please put two noise tokens on there that's two of the nine we need we need seven more actions to drop that zone um, Mitsuki is going to take two actions to get across the hall into the room with Cole, and she'll do two more there. So now we have four of the nine we need. Instead of just doing two, why not fire into the other room? And then didn't just do one then? Well, well it'll, it'll make noise, right? Oh, but you, my point that's is, that's not going to count as an action. You just have to sit on there. You have to the sit action. there and just burn actions. Okay, well, now, well, here's the thing, though. If I do th one action, then each of two people get to do three. That's okay, because everybody that moves in that room is going to get pushed out anyway. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, as long as we don't right. draw like a tank activation or something exactly. stupid like that. All right, so that's four of the nine actions that we need in there. That's all three of my people. Your turn. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is, um, did she not move in? She used all of her? She, she used all of her actions. Okay, so Baraka's there. Well, she only used three of them, but she'll stay out in the hallway for the moment. Okay. So what we'll do is for sure we want to get... Uh, 
we want to get Jared in there. Right. So that's one. He can make three actions. Right. So that should be seven, seven of the nine we yep, need. That's seven. And then what we've got is um, we will definitely bring Magnus in. All right. Um, he's got three actions. Plus, he's got one free range action. Right, and a heavy shotgun that'll do two. He could drop that you little can tank do that. potentially. So let's do that. We'll use the heavy shotgun. So it's two and a four or better. So he's going to shoot into the room with the tank. There's a four. four. Drops one tank, takes one experience. Okay, so we got at least rid of one. Right. Um, he still has two actions left, which means if he does his last two, that'll be the full nine. Correct. Okay. So that basically eliminates this, right? Right, yep. One mold cleared. I'll grab the characters if you can get the mold off of there. All right, one down, three to go. Now, considering we're all in there, obviously they're going to come there. But would these actions stay there? Because there's noise tokens. So even if we left the room, would it attract everybody to there? Or that was all used on the mold? All used on the mold, except for the one... Magnus did one shot, so there should be one one noise one left. noise token left from his firing his Perfect. gun once. And then um, Vivian still has her action. So what she's going to do, she's going to step in here, and she's going to actually use her searchlight, right? Search right. twice. Correct. Good call. No. Hmm. Do I get to choose? You do get to choose. Okay, then I'm going to get rid of the mold spawn worker. Probably a good let's, idea. Let's get rid of that guy because we definitely don't want that guy. Yeah, correct. Out. And I've got another sledgehammer. That makes my backpack full. But as I'm rearranging, I cannot, um, I don't automatically get to swap, right? No, but you have extra actions left if you want to. Okay. I don't think I need to because it's not a dual wield anyway. Correct. Definitely looking for more canisters. So that was her first action. I mean, that she moved in, and that's so she still has two actions left. Um, I mean, I think that's basically it. There's, there's nothing else for her to do but to sit there and wait and firebomb the next room, correct? Agreed. That's probably the best option at this point. All right, so that's it for us. Okay. Oh, problem is this little guy. He's not active. Perfect. So he does not count as a survivor. They're going awesome. to completely ignore him, which is why I did not use him this round. There's not that it would have mattered. We've got more people here in line of sight. They're going to go there. Okay. All right, so we're not so, going to have room in that room, really, to put everybody in. Let's do the best we can. Well, we know everyone's going to get shut back, though, right? Right. But let's do it just in case they're in there and we get an activation. Oh, all tanks activate or something like that we're not expecting. Could be bad. But I guess we kind of are expecting, as we just talked about. Right. right. All right, even though they're not all going to fit, they're all in that one room right now. Correct. All right, so these guys are all here. And the Abomination and the tank are equidistant, so we're just going to move them into that room. That makes sense to me. Now we need to spawn it up. Oh, so this guy. That guy. Oh, so he's going to move in on us as, as well. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, he's going to move. He's going to head back. So oh, I'm sorry. He can see Baraka. So I guess so it makes sense. He's going to go, off, yeah, he'll go after Baraka. That okay, makes sense. That's fine. All right, ready? Ready. So here it comes. Spoiler abomination. So he's going to move in on top of us. And that's going to put mold. No, mold can never be spawned in that zone now that we've cleaned it. Perfect. Remember special rules. Awesome. So abomination's in here. If he activates again, I've got a blade of armor, but we're going to have to divide some stuff up. Okay. Um, one extra, extra activation, all workers. All right, so the worker's going to attack Baraka. There's no option there. She's going to get hit. She's the only one there. She has one hit point left. And then one in the room is going to hit somebody. I can use my blade of armor if we want to do that. Magnus or Magnus can take, can take it because he's got six. We'll take Magnus. Last one. Um, mold spawned one hunter. All right. So each one. Not the worst thing that could have happened. No. I'm glad the abomination did not activate again. Okay. That is your token, sir. All right. We're all set. All set. All right. So Jared is going to go first. He's going to shove, which pushes everybody back into this room. Correct. And and we'll count them up. <laughs> One, two, three. Well, how many you got there? That's going to be a lot of experience. It is. Going but red. That, that's going to be okay. So okay. I don't think Vivian's going to go to red even from that. All right. So everybody's in here right now, guys, except for the runner, that worker, and that runner. Yes. All right. Hunter, so but yeah. hunters. Sorry. Right. Hunters. Um, now he's got two moves left. Well, 
four because four moves, shove right. is free. And we've got to take the noise to It's true. Shove is free. Uh, so, what he's going to do is actually take one move to swap this search drone. All right. And then he's going to go ahead and search. All right. Canister. Draw, all right. Draw Perfect. two, remember. That's a draw two on that one? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. They hit a search light, just right. a search drone. All right. So, so we have, canister, we have the good. fourth canister we need. So what he's going to do is wrong. take the time to... So I'm going to take this move to actually swap this on over to Cole. So now Excellent. He's so Cole has, he's going to go, gonna go ahead and equip that immediately. All right. So that was a swap, a search, a swap. He could still do one more thing, which might as well try to take exactly. that guy. Pick off the lone guy if you can. So he's got dual. Plenty of bullets. And plenty of bullets. So let's see what we do here. Five is better. That'll do. One five. So that's all we need. He's dropped. Perfect. He goes up one. That's it for him. All Here right. Here comes the fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I count. Cannonball coming. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, including a spoiler abomination, which is five. So that's going to be count them. Fifteen. I'm sorry, sixteen points of experience. Twelve. There we go. She's only right. at 34, so not too bad. So, so she fried everything in the room. That takes care of this canister. And made no noise while she was at it. Yeah, kind of weird, right? Nobody screamed. I guess in space, no one can hear you scream. All right. All right, don't forget to flip that top mold over, please. It's inactive. She's going to, that was one move. Yep. She's going to move in. She's going to do two other actions in there. All right, perfect. So you got... And then third one is Magnus, Magnus, which he's basically going to come in here. He's going to do three actions. So we're up to five. All right. And that's it for me. All right, so we need four more in there by the end of the round. Yes, sir. All right, Brock is going to chainsaw the guy that was dumb enough to step in the room on her. Yep, she'll drop him. If you can grab him, please. She goes up by another one. Uh, we needed four more in there? Yes, totally. All right, so move Brock into there. So that's two, three. Shall we do one? So that means we need three more only. Mm -hmm. So um, let's move Cole into the room for one. He'll use his other three actions to clear that. Okay. So that's this. Yep. We don't have Jared in here with us, though. Which, what? Jared's not in the room with us, which means if anybody jumps on us, there's no shove available. We'll be okay. All right. Mitsuki's going to go one, two, three, and pick up this objective. Red objective, extra oxygen tank, should we need that. It's another five for her. She's at 30 right now. She's a little bit away from the action, but she'll, she'll get back. Don't worry. All right, that is it. That's all six of us. So we have two... Of the areas cleared already we're doing not okay too bad, too so the only activation left is this guy he's obviously going to jump on us he's going to attack do you want magnus to take another one you want me to drop the ablate of no, armor magnus article? can take one all right fair enough all right um spawn it up we're it. standing in a spawn zone now don't forget that is eight workers all right good thing brock Four. is in there with her chainsaw Here's eight. Well, and don't worry. Whatever you don't kill, he'll just come in and shove on out of there. Right. But I'm the first act, first person this time, not yeah. you. So take out what you can, and then he'll come in and shove the rest. Whatever we can't, I'll use him last to just push them out of there. All right. Uh, next one. All right. Uh, next one is going to be six workers. Okay. Easy so far. Four, 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 six. Last one is six hunter. Okay, that's not so good. Okay, so that's it. And first token passes to me, please.
Oh, we have our workers in there and a hunter, oh, right? Hunter. Mm-hmm. All right. So here's what's going to happen instead. Mitsuki's going to use one machine action to move the bot in. Mm-hmm. She's going to melee with the bot. Three attacks on the dice, hits on a four or better. That's one. That's sad. That's getting worker or hunter? First. Take the hunter out. I get, and when you're in melee, you can take whoever you want out. So I'm going to take out the hunter first. Good call. All right. So that was one. This is two. That drops three of them. Good job, robot. One, two, three. How many remain? Four left. Another action. Five total. All right. So I got one more that time. And she has one free machine action, so she's going to go ahead and use that for another one, and she gets one more. So that's two Nicely more total done. she dropped there. She did a pretty mm-hmm. decent job of clearing the room. Don't forget to activate, activate that him. little yeah. bit, please. Yeah, I got She's him. at 36 now. These guys are mad now. Yep. Now Baraka's going to go ahead and go with her chainsaw. Five dice hit on a five or better. Bring it on. Oh, I huh. see a six, a five, and a five. Clears Clear the room. Pizza. So you didn't One, two, need three. You don't need Jared. You guys are relying on that shove too much. All right, so Brock has only done one action. Nicely done. So uh, she's got her assault prototype shotgun, her prototype assault shotgun. She's going to go ahead and shoot into the. Could also go there and pick something up, but whatever. Uh, she will go red if we do that. Okay. Don't we want to go red? No. I don't think we want to go red if we can no, avoid it. We're, we're close to the end, I think we're. So that was two. Can uh, she kick it in the room? Somebody else picks it up. Would that be good? No. No, I don't, I don't think so. One. All right. So she's going to go and fire with her shotgun into the next room on these workers. Not really necessary, but let's do it anyway. That's a miss all the way around. And one more shot. Final shot. She gets one. She's at 39. All right, and that leaves just Cole. So if I do Cole, he could do one, jump in there two, he could do two of the actions. Mm -hmm. You've got two people could move in and do six actions, and Jared could get in there and do the last action, Mm -hmm. right? All right, so want to do that? Yes. All right, so Cole going to step up like the gruff bearded man he is and he's going to flame throw that next room that's five experience for him puts him up to 41 we are knocking on the door, knocking on the door red and this flips that was one moving in is two two actions three four to get that mold going and he's going to cower in the back corner of the room that's all three of mine back to you okay well we're going to do uh Vivian first, so she's going to go in one, and she's going to do th- three. So, right, so that's five. five. Um, we've got uh, Magnus. He's going to jump in. He's going to do three, which is eight. That's eight. And then we've got one. He can search for two, go in for three, and make the last one. All right. So Works for me. Double search just in case. Yep, we have the last canister we need. Heavy cutter and a submachine gun. Mm, hmm. really Can't neat, triple neat. wield. Right, that's too bad. I mean, we'll keep the heavy cutter for the heck of it. All right. All right. So that was two actions. Two, he's going to jump in three All and right. do the last action. Excellent. Hero. So, there we go. That's knocked out of there. Yep, so we have cleared three of the spawns or the mold zones thus far. Feeling pretty good about this right now, I'll be honest yeah, with you. We're in good position. I think so. And that's everybody has gone now, right? All the way around? Uh, that was all three of mine. All, all right. Three of yours, yes, sir. Xenos, clearly they're all going to jump on us. The problem is they're going to attack us. There's four of us and there's six of them. So we're going to have to divide up some damage. So let's move them in. So first action, they're all going to move in and swarm us. See, kids, this is why you always take those hunters out when you can. Exactly. Because they get a double move. So the move is come in and attack. So now we're going to take six points of damage however we want. So here's okay. one. A blade of armor is one. I can go two, three. I can even go to four if you want. Well, let's, let's not do that. Cole can take one. Leaves him with one hit point. Well, Magnus can take two. All right, so that's four. Mm-hmm. Jared... Okay. And they can Vivian take one as well? Take one, so all right. down to one. That's all right. 
we're all okay. We're all still alive. Now we got to spawn. We got two zones to spawn on here. So let's uh, hope for the best on the spawn this time around. Okay. We got lots and lots of guys to spawn. Unless it's actually make an extra activation card, we're going to be okay. Spoiler, a bomb. Oh, of course. Of course. The Back in the room, Baraka, but that's okay because you know what, Baraka's going to take that idiot out. That's what's about to happen. Uh, eight worker. All right, that's in the zone with us. Eight worker spawn in One, our two, zone. three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. So that's 14 guys in there, which means this is going to go up by 14. Like a barrel of monkeys right there. That's going to be red. All right, and our last one is six hunter spawn. Oh, my goodness. Six more hunters. All right, so now she's going to get 20 experience points for blowing that room up. Well, good. She's going red. She's going she's way red. Stick. She's going to go ultra red, boys. I think this will be the first time anyone's ever going to hit red. Yep, and um, all the times we've played, we've we've always managed to keep it under red. We go orange a lot. We've never gone red. Okay, right. so you are the first actor this Perfect. time around. So Jared's going to shove them all into that room. All right. And then Viv's going to... Just gonna, for giggles, let's do that. Viv's going to Hellfire, and of course... With that final canister. And this one's really, really dumb, boys and girls. But take a look at that pile of Xenos on the board. Never seen anything like That's it. That's crazy. Hey, stand up, buddy. Face what's about to happen. As a side anecdote, I have friends who played the original Zombicide. They said at one point they got 86 zombies with one fire blast, which is kind of ridiculous. Okay, so here's a question. I need to take an action to yep. man that. Yes, you do. Oh, that's still, but it's still... Technically, Jared's. Correct. I'm going to waste, unfortunately, I have to waste his actions, but he could at least search this room. I don't see any point to searching anymore, do you? I don't either. I think only, it can only cause harm, right? All we got to do is deactivate this last thing? Correct. All right, so Jared, but we've got enough, more than enough actions to get in there, I think. So, Jared's going to stay put. Yeah, because Mitsuki's two steps away, so she's got two she can throw in there. Vivian's going to... Man the canister. That's one. She's going to flame throw it. That's 20 experience points. What's she at right now? Um, well, she's at uh, 34. All right, so she goes up to 41, which is 7. She picks her red, and then she rolls back around by 13 experience points. Going ultra red, so put her back down to 13, which puts her in yellow again, right? If she, oh, so she can, well, if she rolls back up to orange, she, orange, she, she get gets her one. she gets her other orange. If she goes back up to red again, she gets yeah. to pick a second red. Well, you want to know what's really funny? I never picked my first orange. Well, that is kind of funny. So I'm going to do remote bot on that one. And then this one I get. What's the other option? Plus one. Well, the other one was one free melee action. Okay. Seems like that's not good. Um, plus one die range, plus one free ranged action or shove. Hmm. hmm. I wonder what wow. the most useful one of those is. I don't know. I love the shove, though. Shove is the best. All right. So that was two actions. All right. Right. So she's going to move in. That's the third. She's going to conquer, and then she's going to add one. one more action. All right. All right. Now I have main, uh, Magnus. Magnus. He's going to come in here, and it's he's going to give us four. Three. He's going to do three. Yep, so that's four of what we need. And that's it for me. All right. Mitsuki's going to go one, two, and add two more. So that should be six, six of what we need, right? Mm -hmm. And just for fun, Brock is going to try to chainsaw the Abomination, of course, focusing. I got two fives, not enough. I need three fives to get him. Oh, no. Um, no, oh, yep, not quite enough. I need five oh, points. Oh, no, I had three, three damage or five damage? Three damage, right? So two fives is four. That's enough to drop the Abomination. Okay. So she goes red. She's going to go ahead and do plus one die in combat. Nice. And then she's going to roll back around and still have three experience points left on that. So that was one, she'll two. move one. So that's three. She's going to drop one. Cole will step into the room and finish it off. We have cleared the last of the mold. We have successfully defeated the Deep Breath campaign. And by the way, this was rated as hard. With a 60-minute time, we did it in just at 30 minutes, counting the five minutes of explanation up front. So there you have it, a complete playthrough of the Zombicide Invader Deep Breath campaign, all three of the scenarios. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope our explanations made sense and that 
times our table banter was entertaining to everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. So again, I'm John DeCook with Building Geek Cred, brought to you by Werewolf and Borg. And for my brother James, we'd like to thank you all and wish you a good night.